So this is it. This is a 1912 steam locomotive that still operates on active tracks. I'm Michael, the channel's Downy Live, and we're just getting started. This is exactly what they mean by it being on, a, on an active track. As this train's going by, actually, we're gonna we're gonna go on these tracks just after it. We're gonna head three miles up the track. I think we're going over a bridge, we're going to the Kamloops Junction, the CN Rail Kamloops Junction, then coming back three miles here. So it's only a six-mile round trip, but should take about an hour. We got we got really lucky with a beautiful day. So what you may know of a traditional steam locomotive is what you saw in the movies or cartoons of sort of was operated by coal, where you got someone back here shoveling coal from here into the fire pit to keep it hot, keep it going. This one is in fact oil, it's burning recycled oil from our old cars, which I think is really cool. The oil that's used in there is recycled motor oil, car oil. Really? So when you, when you take your oil back to a place like Canadian Tire or, or any other recycling depot, that oil is then sent back to a refinery, it is cleaned, the metal's taken out of it, and we get to use it. Here. So that is burning this fire down here, which then heats the water up here, which turns it into steam, which is held in, in a dome up top before being pressurized and released into the pistons, which moves the pistons, which moves the wheels, which moves the train. Best seat in the house? Oh, it certainly is. It certainly is. No wind? You can see where you've been. <laughs> wow, how picturesque is that? So we're at the very back of the caboose, the back of the train. Let me let me show you around inside. So we're starting at the back of the train. This is the caboose. They have a little fire going back there to heat it up. Obviously, you'd sit up there, the brakeman to keep an eye on the train. Or woman, 2019, would be brake person. We'll go with that would we'll be uh, watching the train from up here above. We're gonna move forward through the train. And we have, a, we have another train going by because these are active tracks. Moving into the rest of the car here. This is first class coach. First class. 1954. 1954. And so this is what first class in 1954 would have been like. Oh, that's pretty good. Now on a nice weather day, this is the, this is the draw here. Everyone wants to come here to, to be outside for photos. And in fact, these used to be old freight cars that they've then converted into being fantastic tourist cars. What we call open air cars. Open air cars, much yeah. better term. Yeah. Ah, next stop, my favorite, the cafe lounge. Now again, just to reiterate, this is, these spider webs are not because this is an old train. It is Halloween themed. Yeah, this is Halloween. How tall are they? Five feet? They are... It's gonna be about four foot eight. Four foot eight. How did you get this job? How do you know how to operate a steam engine from 1912? I was trained by an 83 year old who actually was a steam engineer back in the 50s. So just passed down? Yes, essentially. yes. Amazing. Great privilege. Uh, it takes about three hours from three hours. when when, uh, when we take it out of the shop yeah. until we get 175 pounds. 
So compare that to today's cars where you go outside, turn the ignition and away you go. This they need three and a half hours notice before it can go anywhere just to get this out, turned on, heated up. It's almost silent and there's no smell either. There's no pollution. I, that's remarkable for a train. I'm just used to them being loud and black diesel come off. So if you haven't gathered already, yes, I am a travel vlogger, but the other half of my channel is going behind the scenes. So we've hit the halfway mark, we've gone three miles down the track, and now we're going back. experiencing this the way it was back then. And what I find most interesting is that the whole audience here are children or families and the volunteers. And if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have any of this. So to all of you working here at the Kamloops Heritage Railway, thank you for keeping this running for us. This as an experience is, I can't stop smiling. I'll leave it at that. David here for showing us around the train and I also want to remind you that he does have his own YouTube channel specifically about trains it's called David Atkins I've linked it down below so you can click it and if you want to see trains every Tuesday every Tuesday every Tuesday he's got it on his channel the Kamloops Heritage Railway I'm Michael I don't know where I'm going next but I know I want you there with me so come join me actually I do know where I'm going next we're going to the demolition derby so make sure to subscribe and come back for that so they made an announcement that this this the locomotive was taken out of commission in 1957 or something like that was put in in a park in town in Kamloops and was let to be essentially a playground and rot and deteriorate until it was found and pulled out and restored by the volunteers that put in over a hundred thousand hours to restore it and and now it's this now it's the number 12 out of 55 attractions in Kamloops, according to TripAdvisor. I think it should be number one, but I'm, I'm maybe biased because I like trains. I, I honestly want to know what else is before this. So if you're too cold on the outside cars, you come to the caboose, where they've got the fire side or a wood fire heater essentially going. If you see guys in the orange vest, they know where the good spot to be is on the, on the train. That'll do. Okay, anywhere there is good. Thank you. Well, oh. okay. little close. <laughs> if you follow these tracks that direction, it takes you to Jasper, and this direction takes you to Toronto. Uh, I will take you down to the CP tracks, which will go east-west. Eventually, you could you could get to Toronto by staying on this. So. If you want to see photos that I'm going to take along the rails here, you can follow me on Instagram at Downey Live as well. I don't know, leave a comment. Have you ever done a tourist train activity? Have you gone for a train ride at all? Anyway, thanks. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. See you then. It's so quiet. <laughs>